sharp steal and then run out. It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. And we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Maybe that'll be a springboard for them. Yeah, a big change of possession in a tight ball game. We'll see if they've seized the momentum. And that last replay courtesy of Kia. And the first one drops. Duran hits them both. Cavaliers have gone an outstanding four or five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. James in the post, defended by Durant. They get the rebound, and uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup, and while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. So after making the first, he goes one for two. The Warriors have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Outside Curry. Green left side. Just five to shoot. Here's Durant. Eyes again. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. What's up? He is not someone you can sleep on. Otherwise, this is what happens. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Here's Irving. To the inside. Love. Finds net with the inside leaner. Now these are the games where Kevin Love just dominates the box score by the end of the night. The Warriors have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Smith against Thompson. Smith dishes to James. Takes the 13-footer. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. First free throw is good. At the one for two. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The Warriors shooting 59% up to this point. They're working for great shots, and they're hitting them. And again, it's the Warriors missing. For Cleveland, they've gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Thompson inside is up against Pachulia. And it was still over the rim. Offensive basket interference. The Warriors shooting about 43% here in the fourth quarter. Inside, it's deflected. It's stolen by Smith. Outside Irving. The feed now to Love. And the dunk by Love. And you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this comeback. Yeah, to start off with so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working, it allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. That one goes. Count it. Curry's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. He buckets, and we know he delivers down the stretch. And then they're going to keep going to him. You can be sure of that. I mean, he'll be option number one every time down the rest of the way. Love can't hit. The Warriors have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Thompson with the bucket. Now is not the time to be giving him that kind of shot. Certainly not. This is when you want to see tight, aggressive defense. Everybody on point down the stretch in a close game. LeBron outside. Shoots from the elbow. 
able to get that one. So Golden State will take it the other way. The pass to Thompson. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. Just keep things simple. No reason to rush things there. And the Cavaliers call time here. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. Hey, we've got to pick up our... Let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Kevin, during the last break, I heard Tyron Lou talking with his team. They have been getting killed from long range tonight, and he said we can't lose track of their shooters. We're overpacking the lane, and we're leaving them wide open. Guys, we'll see if they can make the adjustment. Pachulia the pass to Thompson. Pachulia sets a screen for Thompson. Curry outside. Thompson with the rebound. You know, the defense will not make that mistake again because next time, he's going to knock that thing down. Here's Love. Ice yet again over Green. Oh, and there is Love making a fantastic play. Now it's a three-point Cleveland lead. Curry kicks to Thompson. Pachulia dishes to Curry. Hands it from downtown. Curry's got five points now in the quarter. It has been a three-point barrage for them since halftime. I mean, unbelievable. Whether they're wide open or defenders draped all over them, they're hitting from distance. Guys, it doesn't get much bigger than that. Irving coming up huge right there with the bucket. Durant kicks to Curry. On the strike. Love grabs the board. Love's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Now James. He kicks it to Love. Love with another miss. And good defense there to play up and get a hand in the face. Oh, the confidence he exudes, the toughness. He just gets inside shooters' heads. Green with a screen on Smith. Back to Curry. Up off the screen. one to fall trying to focus now on the second and he ends up making the second and that narrows the gap to one 127 left in the fourth LeBron with it it's stolen by Green now the Warriors moving it up Green leading the charge here's Curry with the three good and it's Green picking up the assist Green's got three assists in the game. And the Cavaliers call time here. They trail by two. One ten left in the game. Here's James. Thompson sets the pick for James. One oh two left in the game. Shot off the pick. That one rolling around and rims out. Well, what a force this guy is on the side. And you can tell the defense wants to limit him as best they can. Here's Curry with the three. Frames it from downtown. Oh, what a special, special performance this guy's putting on from long range. He's just been raining threes. That's where the majority of the damage he's doing is, is happening. LeBron finding a way to come up with a ridiculous make. Terrific and one on that one. Those are the kind of plays, guys, that win basketball games. Moving against Curry. Outside Durant. Fires the three. No good on that one. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Still a chance here, but they need to score. They cannot afford to waste a single possession at this point. The drive by LeBron. Money! He sinks the clutch free throw. 
Not Time only out. ties Time it out. up with the hoop, but puts Time him in front now with the free throw. That could be the play of the game if they come out on top. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They trail by one. 17 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, your You know what? Enough time that they can run whatever play they're most comfortable with. You'd think they want to do everything they can to get it to their hot hand. Now, here's Curry. Green with a screen on Irving. Curry outside. Off target from downtown. So it's an arrow win for the Cavaliers pulling it out. Backs against the wall, Greg, but they showed us tonight they are not done yet. You can just never count this group out. I mean, unlikely to see a full comeback, but we've seen it before. Yeah. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Kyrie. Nice win tonight. What was your thought process coming into the game? Uh, you know, I was just going out there trying to compete on every play, uh, trying to play as much defense as possible. Uh, you know, just sticking to our game plan. We had a game plan going in and we executed. Got it done at both ends of the floor, Kyrie. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Game four of the NBA Finals is all wrapped up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Old, this is Kevin Arlen along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. But first, the post-game show with Ernie Johnson just a few aisles above us. The 2K Sports post-game show. And Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Without further ado, let's present our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. He went on a ridiculous scoring spree in the third quarter. He was in attack mode the entire time, and his teammates really fed off that surge of energy. Shaq, your thoughts? Well, he wasn't about to let this moment slip by. That's what great players do. They perform on the biggest stage. And obviously, here in the finals, this is as big as it gets. He was relentless in the way he attacked tonight offensively. I love the way he constantly forced the hand of whoever was guarding him. The defender had to choose between, what, letting him blow by him or then fouling him once he did blow by them. And those free throws turned into a lot of points. And that'll do it for tonight's NBA Finals coverage for Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you for more high-stakes NBA Finals action coming up soon.